how to prepare a business plan with Excel. Uh, welcome to this presentation. I am Professor Roberto Moro Visconti of the Catholic University of the Second Heart in Milano, Italy. Uh, I want to introduce you to this uh, PDF presentation available on the web and also to the Excel file which is attached to it. Here you have a presentation of uh, where to find this uh, paper. You go on uh, Social Science Research Network you digit uh, the contents of this paper and you can uh, easily find it. Uh, uh, this is the suggested citation. So go through it and freely download the PDF paper. We are now inside the uh, paper that uh, we are going to present. How to prepare a business plan with Excel. Uh, I am going to update this version many times through the year and here you find an app that we can go through it together. A business plan is a formal accounting statement which Numeca describes a set of business goals. The reasons why they are believed attainable and the strategic plan and managerial steps for reaching those goals. Hypotheses and visionary ideas of game changers have to be transformed into numbers. This is a key concept. Then we have an Excel which is a um, popular special software which we can conveniently use in order to um, bring down the hypothesis and uh, combine them together. Uh, this topic is not particularly originary but uh, we can see in a comprehensive Excel file um, a combined version of all the business plan uh, items that we have to uh, synergistically um, combined together in order to get these results. You can have from here a link to a free Excel file and uh, uh, you can uh, please uh, send any suggestion or recommendation uh, to me, this is my email, to make uh, this file viral. There are several keywords for this uh, paper. Learning platforms, we're going to talk about business plan and economic forecast, cash flow statement, Excel, which is our spreadsheet, interdisciplinary MBA topics, social media like YouTube, the one we are using now. Uh, here you have the contents of this paper, introduction, playing with numbers, budgeting and the business plan backbone, the skeleton of the business plan, how to prepare a business plan step after step, an introduction to the model, which is complicated but simple, upstarting and forecasting a new business, a startup. Then we have risk and a matrix for risk matrix. Also uh, we have sensitivity and scenario analysis, changing the hypothesis, one after one or together. Then we also have to fix the sustainable bottom line, how to avoid a cash burnout or an equity burnout, how to avoid game over. We can also look for sustainable funding from venture capital to microfinance and we have to periodically monitor and upgrade the model. We also have mentorship, suggestions, human capital incubators and micro consulting. We then have to involve all the possible stakeholders with a comprehensive corporate governance perspective. Also we have to consider time as a mental category because business plan is an evolutionary plan, time after time, across years. We can also have a sort of out of poverty business planning for social entrepreneurship and then concluding recommendations. Make it viral with social media such as YouTube for example. We also have basic references, inspiring songs, websites, other videos and uh, the first appendix with the basic Excel model that you can download from another source. And then you have basic principles of accounting. The two most important background ideas behind a business plan are to have a basic knowledge of accounting, the balance sheet, the profit and loss account and the combined cash flow statement and also to know how to use in a, an elementary way Excel and Microsoft spreadsheets. Now we go through the introduction. Uh, the starting idea uh, came to me in Africa, in Nairobi, while I was teaching my students, my African students, 
in an MBA and we discussed a lot how, about how to prepare a business plan starting from scratch. It was a bit difficult task and I got a lot of inspiration from my students. So you have to use again basic accounting and then try to uh, interact it with Excel. It is well written here. There are some helpful tips. If you don't feel comfortable with basic accounting, stop now, stop reading this paper and go to Appendix 2 for a preliminary introduction and for bibliographic web references. This is very important to uh, be able to understand which is the backbone behind business planning. You can also have basic Excel explanations and videos. You, you can find them in the websites and they are listed in the references. We have to play with numbers. We have to, do, to be concerned with budgeting and the business plan backbone. The main, uh, the starting point of uh, business planning is uh, represented by the uh, profit and loss or the income statement. How to forecast revenues and costs across years. Normally, we are going to consider a scenario of uh, from three to five years, let's say, according to the business model and according to the life cycle of the products that you are going to uh, invest in. So budgeting trying to uh, forecast revenues and costs across time is the first step for business planning. We have to prepare, and we, here you find a link to Wikipedia, a sales budget, an estimate of future, future sales, a production budget, a cash flow budget concerning liquidity, which is going to be produced and absorbed by the um, investment, a marketing budget, how to sell, what to sell, where, a project budget, a prediction of the cost associated with a particular company project, but also a revenue budget, trying to estimate revenues, profits, and an expenditure budget for costs. So budgeting is very important. Start from the income statement. It should be made immediately clear that the, the accounting backbone of any business plan is first of all represented by the interactive matching of the three basic balance sheet documents. The balance sheet with assets, liabilities and differential net equity. The income statement or profit and loss account with a current matching of revenues and costs and a net result, possibly after some years, a net income. And eventually the cash flow statement showing the quantity and quality of liquidity created or absorbed. We are going to see that from an accounting point of view, the cash flow statement is a combination of differential balance sheets and income statements. It is also written here. The cash flow statement is automatically derived combining balance sheet variations with the income statement of the year under investigation. This is all going to be represented in the Excel file. Watch out, there is a, a, a big uh, mistake. Among the major mistakes in preparing a business plan, the mere forecast of expected revenues and cost over a conventional pluriannual time horizon, accompanied by a rough and support estimate of cash flows, stands out as a mostly likely banana scheme. What does it mean? You don't have to take and consider only the income statement forecast across years. You have to combine the income statement with the balance sheet so as to get useful cash flow statements. If you just use the income statement and you forecast it, you forget important information, for example, concerning networking capital, net financial position, and so on. And this is very uh, dangerous for your business plan. It's going to be very fragile and inconsistent. Also, you have to try to transform your vision your dreams into feasible numbers, blending imagination with concreteness. You have here a short introduction how to write a business plan step after step, how to conceive and prepare a business plan, which are the consequential steps, how to be effective and comprehensive, how to properly combine hard and soft skills. 
physical items, money, machines, production and imagination, intangibles, know-how, knowledge. You can have a source from WikiHow, write a business plan, and we report here only the headings. You can go to that uh, uh, web file for any analytical um, introduction. Analyze your potential markets is the first step. Then define the boundaries of your company. Choose a winning strategy. Develop a strong marketing campaign. Build a dynamic sales effort. Design your company. Organize it. Identify your company's initial needs. Target your funding sources. Who is going to financially support you? Explain and draw down your financial data. Present yourself in the best light. You have to sell your product and then write the plan. Here you have a short summary list of the contents, of the possible contents, with also milestones, goals and objectives. Then we have some helpful tips again. Many sources exist for finding information for your business plan. Your local library and the internet are always helpful sources. So go to the web, cite all the proper information, support data and statistics with references. Remember that soft skills are concerned with creativity, imagination, immaterial and pioneering entrepreneurship, stamina, resistance, flexibility, resilience, willingness to create new and exploited value. Remember that business planning is always a work in progress. Never stop refining, fine-tuning, upgrading, updating, and also never be satisfied. All enthusiasm can light up the fire of changing. Now we have an introduction to the model. This introduction is consistent with the Excel file that we are going to present in another video. You have input data in the red sheet. Input data consists mainly on some accounting information, such as balance sheet information, assets, liabilities and differential net equity and income statement, it means revenues and cost projections over time. Also we have some uh, micro and macroeconomic uh, input data such as interest rates, inflation, exchange rates and whatsoever. Then we have output data. The Excel I am going to present to you is a template. You can upgrade it, use it, modify it and also please make it viral. Send a feedback to me and exchange your ideas with other mates and entrepreneurs. This is the contents of the Excel file. Introduction, then you can see the red part, the input data, income statement and balance sheet, also a loan repayment schedule, how to get uh, bank loans serviced, then we have the blue output, balance sheet variation, the cash flow statement, which is an extremely important part, a core part of the business plan. Then we have ratios, ratio three, the debt covenants, operating analysis with value added, break even, operating leverage. And then we have another in source of input data, macro trends, country risk, the company's beta, inflation, risk premia, interest rates, currency rates, whatsoever. Company evaluation, then we have typical capital budgeting outputs such as net present value, internal rate of return, payback of the investment, evaluation model, rating, and also we have cash flow sophisticated evaluation methods. Cash flow evaluation model with stable growth and also weighted average cost of capital and several other sheets inside the big Excel file. We have, as I told you, input data and then output data. The cash flow statement is, together with the income statement, the most important part of the business plan representing its real backbone, the skeleton, the core part of the business plan is represented by income statement it means projections of revenues and cost across time and also a comprehensive cash flow statement. How much cash and liquidity you are hopefully going to generate. Remembering that cash is king and without 
proper cash generated, you cannot survive long across time. You have also to upstart and forecast a new business with ideas. You start from the balance sheet T0, then you go to the income statement of the next year, then balance sheet of the following year, then income statement, and so on. Again, you have some helpful tips. If you are blocked and frustrated with your business planning, you have to concentrate on the initial balance sheet, which is typically very simple. Then prepare a profit and loss or income statement, and then go on, concentrate on the income statement forecast. Let's make an example. Here you find revenues, fixed cost, variable cost, and then earning before interest and taxes, a sort of, a sort of uh, operating revenue. Here T0, then you have an increase of 50%, of revenues from 100 to 150. Fixed costs are going to remain stable. Variable costs are going to increase by 50% and the EBIT is going to um, more than double from 30 to 70. Then you have ERT2 with a uh, consistently slower growth from 50% to one third to 33% and then you have another projection. You can project, you can forecast the expected revenues and costs and calculate, combining it with the balance sheet, a proper cash flow statement. Again, consider what I told you before. Incremental balance sheet is represented by this. You can have cash flow from working capital, difference of credits, accounts uh, receivable, stock, accounts payable, and then difference of net working capital. Here you have a representation of how networking capital works. And you have also to consider the life cycle of companies. Introduction, growth, maturity, and then typically decline after maybe a long period of success. But you also have to consider risk. Since you are going to forecast, especially cash flows across time, you have to discount them to bring them back future cash flow to the initial period and in order to do so you need to account for risk. Risk is the statistical possibility that effective result is going to differ from expected result. Here you have upside and downside risk. Uh, upside risk is when the result is better than expected. Downside risk is the, the, when the result is lower than expected. And the variance or the standard deviation of this uh, difference between real values and expected values statistically represents the measure of risk. We have a matrix for risk matrix. This is the interactive risk matrix all different kinds of risk as go, are going to interact. Let's make an example. Inflation risk is going to interact with interest rate risk or with country risk. This is also represented by typical macroeconomic variables. Purchasing power parity is just an example. But risk is going to interact also with income statement projections of revenues and costs and with cash flow analysis. Then we can have either sensitivity or scenario analysis. If we just change one possible variable, we are going to have sensitivity analysis. We only change the projected interest rate, for example. We are going to see what is going to be modified. But we can also have scenario analysis if we change several items simultaneously at the same time combining pessimistic scenario with other possible scenarios. Here we have an example of binomial model of possibilities of going up or down with a calculation of these possibilities. We have to identify risk, select it, measure risk, monitor and management uh, also risk uh, combinations. This is going to be very useful also with some uh, Monte Carlo simulation of, or with other sophisticated statistical devices. 
Then we have a risk scoring matrix. You see, blue is low risk. Then we go up to red, which is a highly risky situation. We have to put uh, this, uh, to consider this risky position and to incorporate, to embed these risk factors into feasible numbers inside the business plan. There are two important things we have to avoid. Cash burnout, it means going running out of cash, burning completely cash, or equity burnout, if the net equity, the difference between assets and liabilities, goes to zero and then becomes negative. These are going to be big problems to avoid, especially the cash burnout. We can have this, the balance sheet, as you're going to see, assets, liabilities, net equity. We can have a cash burnout, let's say, after three or four years, a potential one, and we are going to um, consider this uh, possibility and to try to find feasible and right solutions for it. But we can also have a cash burnout. We have a cash flow statement, startup phase, year one, year two, then management consolidation phase, year three, four, five, in year three, for example, you can have a negative cash flow with some uh, items to be considered and strategic opportunities to be implemented to solve the problem. We may also have suitable funding. Hardly anybody is going to support you in the beginning. You are young, nobody knows you. Banks are typically not going to support you. So you can go towards a venture capital solution or to microfinance if you live in a, an underdeveloped and poor environment. These are uh, feasible uh, sources for your business planning. You also have to monitor periodically and upgrade the model and also continuously upgrade and refine miscalibrated expectations. Reality is always different from projection, from forecast continuously upgrade it and refine your business model. You can also have mentorship, human capital incubators, and also micro-consulting to help you uh, combine and draw down your business plan. You can also involve stakeholders and consider also that time is a mental category. You have to prepare a business plan across time. This is very important. You can have an out-of-poverty business planning and also conclude the recommendation, make it viral. This, look here, is the website where you can download your um, business plan template with Excel. Then you have basic references, very useful. You can go through it, all available on, from the web, free of charge, inspiring songs. Don't stop thinking about tomorrow. Let it grow. Don't give up. Only time will tell. Then you can have some useful videos, again, freely downloadable, mostly from YouTube, from the web. And also some websites. These are very, very useful. The one, for example, from Professor Damodar from New York University. Then you can have e-learning platforms. Khan Academy, Coursera, EDX, whatsoever. Then the last appendix is concerned with basic principles of accounting. If you're not uh, strong enough, if you feel yourself weak, you can have some um, summary of basic accounting principles. Double enter accounting, uh, T accounts, chart of accounts, Assets, liability, equity, revenues, expenses, balance sheet, accounts, profit and loss, fundamental accounting equation, assets equal liability plus owner's equity, an, ex uh, an example of a balance sheet, the income statement, and eventually combining it, the cash flow statement. And then we go to the end. Now we're going to see very shortly uh, the um, Excel file, but this is going to be illustrated in another uh, presentation, in another video.
This is the Excel file that you can properly download from the web source we have seen. You see we have contents, we have red input spreadsheets, the checklist of the business plan, what you need eh, in the business plan. Income statement, this is the income statement projection of revenues and cost, balance sheet, and then you have a long series of output data, balance sheet variation, and eventually especially cash flow statement. What is very important in this Excel file is that it is comprehensive. One big, maybe a bit complicated file with everything concerning business planning. So enjoy your business planning, try to make it viral, try to use imagination and combine it with feasible accounting numbers. Good luck!